rights in China of late is it's about transparency and openness and accountability and justice in terms of how they move forward on climate change. Uh, Afghanistan. Yes. Um, what do you want the president to do? What is right? Well, clearly you want to do what is right. What do you think is right? Well, the president uh, will meet with the president tomorrow, bipartisan way, House right. and what? Senate. Well, what, oh, you mean what does that mean? I mean, you and and John Biner and and well, it, it's a more Mitch expanded group than and, that. Right. It'll be the leadership of the House and Senate, Democrats and Republicans, and then the. Uh, uh, Senior Dem or the chairman and the ranking member of the committees of jurisdiction yeah. on national security. So about under 40 people, but a, a large, you know. Yeah, and, and, what, and what's going to take place in this meeting? We'll find out when we go there. But what I anticipate <laughs> is the president will uh, elicit uh, the views of people there on the subject. Will perhaps at some point we'll have to have uh, an array of options put before us to see what the, uh, the needs are. In other words, uh, even General McChrystal has said, unless there is a strategy, we shouldn't resource yeah. the mission. Everybody said that. But no, everybody you, says you've got to have a strategy before you yeah. decide how many yeah. troops you need. Right. And the military's role is to say, uh, if this is the plan, this is how many troops we need to fulfill the mission. And so mm -hmm. which plan will it so be? So you don't have any problem with what General McChrystal said in London in his speech or in the press conference, do you? Well, I don't know exactly. I don't know everything he said. Well, I'll tell you one thing he said. He said he couldn't. They suggested the Biden proposal had been leaked with the Biden ideas. We ought to make Al Qaeda the target, not the Taliban. Limited number of troops. And General McChrystal, I think, said in a press conference in London after he made a speech that that wouldn't work. Well, let me say this. Uh, the vice president's views are ones that are widely shared. Exactly. By, shared. by the by, Speaker of the House? By members by of Speaker Congress of and people across the country who yeah. talk to me about it. So tell me what you think, my then. That's what I'm trying again. to understand. <laughs> my uh, anecdotal beyond that to empirical data is that the approach that the vice president is taking is one that has uh, currency among the American people. There's very grave concern about a full commitment. Well, let me say this very grave about concern because, about adding more troops is what well, you're let, saying. No, let me, well, it depends on the mission. But let me say this about uh, General McChrystal, with all due respect. His recommendations to the president should go up the line of command. They shouldn't be in press conferences. That's what Jim Jones said yesterday. Well, I agree with, the, with him. And, and again, I say that with Meaning all due that, respect so to McChrystal. That what the National Security Advisor said. So he should said, not have said what he said in London. He should well, have just I, simply I, I, told I, I, I'm at Bob a loss because I haven't heard what he said, I'm, uh, but I read what he was reported to have said. Which is essentially it, what I said, isn't it? it, 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 it yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe you said more than I have read, but the fact is, is I think that that's not where this debate takes place. The president.